Excellency Muhammad Oud Sheikh El Ghazwani, President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome His Excellency Muhammad Oud Sheikh El Ghazwani, President of the Republic of Mauritania, and to invite His Excellency to address the Assembly. Your Excellency. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, uh, the merciful, with the compassion, peace and blessings on the Prophet of God. Uh, Mr. President, Your Majesties, Highnesses, Mr. Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a, my pleasure to first of all express my congratulations to Ambassador Dennis Francis, congratulate him on presiding over the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly, and we wish him every success in discharging this mission. I'd like to thank his predecessor, His Ex Excellency Sadak Koroshi, for the excellent way he steered the deliberations of the previous General Assembly. I would like to furthermore welcome the efforts made by His Excellency the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Guterres, efforts to strengthen the role played by the UN throughout the world and to get to the objectives the organization has set for itself. Ladies and gentlemen, our world today is undergoing through various uh, acute and overlapping crises, so much so that their nefarious effects are sensed by one and all. Even if uh, it's not in equal measure, our uh, fates are therefore intertwined, and that is why we need to accelerate the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals in line with the collective, uh, collective under, um, undertakings we uh, took upon ourselves um, to implement them by 2030. There is no doubt, in fact, that the pace and the degree of uh, inclusivity of this implementation have so far been below our expectations given the complexity and the diversity of the challenges we are facing. Globally speaking, we can say that the progress accomplished uh, so far, in particular in developing countries, is slowing down uh, difficulties and even stopping sometimes. For example, uh, let me quote the uh, worsening poverty, unemployment, uh, public health uh, and uh, acute food crisis, um, inflation, which could lead to economic recession and greater violence, terrorism, a destructive armed conflicts. All of this accompanied with uh, environmental deterioration throughout the world. However, as grim as this picture is, we remain hopeful when it comes to implementing the SDGs. The, uh, on this will depend our collective capacity to open a new pathway for multilateral cooperation to rectify the imbalance in the system of development assistance, to create more effective mechanisms for uh, mobilizing the funding which is uh, needed to finance sustainable development. And that is why this uh, 78th session of the General Assembly is of particular importance. It allows us uh, to take a halfway look at the implementation of SDGs and also to discuss the means we can accelerate the process. Ladies and gentlemen, in the uh, Islamic Republic of Mauritania, we have uh, made the implementation of the SDGs the main area of our developmental effort. And uh, this is uh, shown in our accelerated growth and prosperity strategy, which is the framework for our public action for development. Thanks to these efforts, and despite the regional and international context, which is not favorable, we managed to improve many indicators having to do with SDGs. 
We fought against poverty, the uh, vulnerability and exclusion. We created a network of social protection, a broad network, so as to strengthen the resilience uh, of our most uh, vulnerable nationals, strengthen their purchasing power, and uh, strengthen the medical and social coverage, so as to progressively get uh, to universal health coverage. We undertook structural reforms uh, with this so as to build a diversified economy which is more resilient and better able to create jobs uh, and add value. We also strengthened the economic governance, financial governance, and monetary governance uh, in my country. And we did this by strengthening the productivity of uh, such sectors as agriculture, fisheries, uh, uh, cattle, uh, husbandry, so as to achieve food security and self-sufficiency. And thanks to these reforms, the economic growth in Mauritius it was at the level of 6.4 last year. Access to basic uh, services also improved, and the offer of health uh, services has broadened. Access to drinking water reached 72.32%. Uh, um, access to electricity, 91.84%. Uh, 84% in urban area and 53% on average uh, throughout the country. The share of renewable energies in our energy mix is uh, 34% in uh, 2020, and we are aiming for 50% in 2030. The um, Energy diversification horizon has broadened in Mauritania thanks to a program for the development of green hydro energy that we've just launched. And this provides us with an alternative, sustainable solution when it comes to clean energy. This helps us implement the objective of the nationally determined contribution, namely an 11% drop in carbon emissions. COP28, which will take place in the United Arab Emirates, will be is for us a, a source of great hope. We call on industrialized states to honor the commitments they undertook when it comes to greenhouse gas emissions and the commitments they undertook um, during the Paris summit. Our efforts in terms of energy transition are accompanied by continued fight against desertification and other climate uh, change. We're doing this so as to restore the balance of our ecosystems. It is within this framework that we're implementing the initiative on the Great Green Wall, and uh, there we are active within the permanent interstate committee on uh, fighting drought in the Sahel. We're uh, strengthening thus the green economy. We also are investing in our human capital. We implemented various uh, youth uh, training programs to make it easier for them to enter labor markets and to protect them against extremism and fundamentalism. We launched the programs of women empowerment and to strengthen their participation in the political and public life of the country. Numerous uh, promising reforms uh, are also underway in the area of education so as to create a republican schooling system which gives all of our children quality education and gives them equal opportunity. Furthermore, we're actively working on strengthening the rule of law, good governance, social cohesion, and individual and collective freedom. In fact, we are ensuring that human rights are promotion. We're prom promoted. We're promoting the rights of women and children, and we are fighting against any contemporary forms of slavery. And we have seen positive results in all of these areas. This was also praised by our partners and international organizations involved in these matters. In all of the aspects of our public policy, we uh, use dialogue and openness uh, with all parties. We undertook an in-depth report of our judicial system to strengthen the independence of our judiciary and to guarantee that there is a separation of powers. We also 
uh, developed various mechanisms of uh, combating um, against resistance to these reforms. We heightened their transparency through reinvigorated uh, democracy. This would have been impossible without security and stability, which we have throughout the country, despite the fact that the regional and an international environment is particularly st- unstable currently. Our integrated security strategy was also praised by all stakeholders. We have contributed to the stability and security of the sub-region through the G5 Sahel, which we're currently chairing. We're also contributing to MINUSCA in the Central African Republic and are hosting more than 100,000 of our Mali brothers who found refuge in Mauritania in the wake of the instability in their country. Our efforts to achieve regional and international peace and stability as part of our foreign policy based on good neighborliness, mutual respect, constructive cooperation, dialogue, negotiations, upholding international treaties, and uh, support for all, any and all just cause. In this regard, I would like to reaffirm the right of the Palestinian people to create an independent state with a capital in East Jerusalem under the relevant resolutions of the United Nations. The Arab Peace Initiative. We also support any and all solution aimed at preserving the territorial integrity, stability, and security in Libya, Yemen, and in Syria. We call for the deployment of any and all possible efforts so as to put an end to the hostilities and to do this effectively in Sudan and to reach a a comprehensive political solution in this brotherly country. Also. We stand with the government of Somalia in the efforts they are making so as to attain stability in their country. We reiterate our position of principle when it comes to the conflict in Western Sahara. We support the efforts being made by the United Nations and the various Security Council resolutions aimed at uh, finding a lasting and acceptable solution for all. We firmly condemn the phenomenon of Islamophobia, which distorts Islam and which sows division and hatred between the West and uh, Islam. We would like to express our very serious concern as regards the continued war in Ukraine. We call for a negotiated solution, taking into account the concerns of various parties in respect of the international law and the Charter of the United Nations. We reject any uh, coming into power through non-constitutional means, in particular in the Sahel, and call on uh, brotherly countries in the Sahel to rapidly return to the constitutional order. We are aware that a lot remains to do so as to uh, attain the STGs. We in Mauritania need resources which are far greater than what we can mobilize domestically. Our situation in this regard is heightening the level of investment and re, uh, upholding the commitments undertaken by partners could help us to collectively get to better results. And that is why we call for the resolution of the issue of debt by reforming the uh, development debt system and increasing the support to the least developed countries, the most vulnerable countries, through multilateral cooperation, which should be strengthened. Ladies and gentlemen, our organization is the very institutional embodiment of our common destiny and the need to cooperate and of uh, solidarity so as to meet the common challenges whilst upholding our common values. And that is why we need to work together so as to (coughs) continue with the reform of this organization. This is needed 
for the purpose of working in a more balanced way to resolve international crises, taking into account the needs of the least developed countries. This will help us strengthen the trust uh, uh, everyone should have in the United Nations and, and trust in its effectiveness and its work for international peace and security. I thank you and may the peace of God be on one and all of you. On behalf of the Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania for the statement just made and I request protocol to escort His Excellency. The Assembly will hear an address by His Excellency George Mane Ware, President of the Republic of